Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, it's <laughs> watching me. I'm at the gas station. Okay, it's one thing to think people think you're on FaceTime, but when you're dancing, uh, I, you are now <clears throat> on a spin stand. I saw this at Walmart. It was only like four dollars, and you can either like stand it up or put it sideways. And then it has solved my problem because I just set it on here and can take it off instead of having to have that thing fall over. Um, it's a hot one in Florida today, uh, but I'd rather be here than in a snowstorm in Minnesota. And so I am getting back on the road today. I am excited if you can't tell. I mean, I haven't driven what I was laid up with my surgery for two weeks at the RV park and then I just went home and so it's been almost a month and I'm heading somewhere very special very special so um, and I wanted to say too so you know I just talked about health and wellness and everything um, you know going home I realized you know driving being on the road is stressful, but it's a different kind of stressful than being at home stressful and the things that you have to do. Um, and I realized from going back home for a week that this is my life now. You know, for a while, it just, you know, I didn't think about you about it. I was just trying to get from one place to the next, um, you know, because I had places to be at certain times. And it started to feel not like a vacation, but like a road trip. And then when I went home, you know, I realized, cause I came back to my home. I felt like I was at home when I came back to the van. And so I realized, um, you know, I have things I'm gonna do when I get back to Minnesota, somebody who's gonna help me like convert it so that I have energy all the time instead of having to plug in and just stuff. I'm gonna upgrade, that's gonna make it so much better and get myself set up for living in the van and this being my home. So I'm excited for that. But it's funny, I just had that realization. And maybe you will too, if you if you wanna get on the road. Um, like I said, this is all new to me, you know, three months on the road and I'm just realizing all of this. So. Anyway, there we go. That's enough for that. Oh, the guy left so I can dance now. Well, I could dance anyway, even if he was watching me. <laughs> Do the stir. <laughs> the, what is this? The sprinkler? Okay, I made you myself. Running man? How is that? Yep. Yeah. Or, I ah, forget it. Okay. All right, I'm on the road, headed to where I'm going next, and I'll show you when I get there. Let's go. Welcome to... Georgia and I made it to where I'm gonna stay and I'm gonna turn this around and show you the sign. Hidden River Resort. Any guesses what it is? Let's go in. I'll show you what I'm looking at. Let's go. So yep if you guessed a nudist resort you would be correct. I have always wanted to see what it was like to be at a nudist resort and what's funny is the older I get the less I care what people think about me and my body <laughs> and so this will be the test it is so beautiful here and it's so quiet there aren't many people here and she has like 88 acres and I guess there's a river and they have a pool they even have a band like platform. She said they have the nudie blues. <laughs> it's a get together every year, like the end of April, but they haven't had it for the last two years because of you know what. Um, so, yep, for two days, I am here at the nudist resort. And you know what they say, when in Rome, huh? So I can't, I'm gonna go to the pool. But I can't go underneath because of my eye surgery. Uh, for six to eight weeks, you have to 
be really careful because there's a flap over it while the it grows back. And so, um, but I am gonna go and sit in the pool. It is hot out, uh, but it's beautiful. Um, but yeah, I'll show you around what I can. I won't be showing you any other nude people. <laughs> And I won't be showing you a nude Tracy, but maybe from here up. So let's go start this journey. See what happens. So I am going to take a walk. There is a river down there, but this says Welcome St. Mary's Wood Nymph Trail. So, self-guided trail. This is a leisurely one-mile walk through the forest with a wood nymph as your guide. So, and, um, yeah, there's a lady sitting on a tree stump with the bird. Maybe that'll be me. Look at how pretty it is. I asked her if there were bears. <laughs> she said she's never seen a bear. But she said that the snakes might be out because it's warmer. So I brought my snake stick. How about that? Okay, that was Linda and John. And they were buck naked and very helpful. I'm on the right path to the river. That's just where they came from. It's funny how when people are naked, you just stare into their eyes. <laughs> you don't want to divert your gaze. Um, so. It's so silly how we're all caught up on somebody not wearing clothes. Who cares? I mean, boobs are to feed your baby. Nothing else, really. But we've sexualized stuff. We did that. So, anywho, I'm going to pay attention to where I'm going because I am, like, in the thick of it. Am I going to be on an episode of I Survived? Ooh. Maybe I'm practicing for, um, what's that show where they put them on an island? Survivor. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go find the river and I'll pick you back up then. Okay. I found the river. And look at how beautiful it is. There's a little bench right there. You see, and I'll turn the camera around, but look at how quiet it is. Okay, I'm going to turn the camera around. Look how white that sand is. It's like a sandy beach. And then look at how still the river is. See that tree in there? Like directly... in the river. Well, I guess I don't know how deep it is, but they told me not to cross the river because she only owns the property up until the river. I was saying, too, it's funny that when it's so quiet, we don't know what to do with ourselves. Like, just being is hard. That's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to sit on that bench and just be for a while. Okay, I'll catch you back at the campsite or at the RV site. It feels good. I'm out here all by myself. <laughs> so now I am in the hot tub. I don't want to talk too loud. There's a couple over there. But I'm in it all by myself. It's supposed to turn on soon. And there, oops, there's the pool over there. I'm kind of liking this. I feel free. 
So I met. So I met uh, two guys that were walking by to go to the pool, which I took a dip in and I did the hot tub, although nobody was around. And um, they invited me over later to have a glass of wine. And um, yeah, there's no Wi-Fi here. And the guy said that I could get two bars if I go over. He has a dish over there. So, um, but it's kind of nice not having Wi-Fi. It is so beautiful here. <laughs> Somebody said, where do you look when you talk to him? I'm like, you just look in their eyes. <laughs> Keep your eyes here. So anyway, really nice guys. One's from Kansas and one's from Canada. And so I don't know if they'll, I haven't told them I have a YouTube channel. So we'll wait and see how it goes and if I can um, get them to be on camera from here up. <laughs> but we'll see how it goes. Okay, I just wanted to check in, but I just have been outside. It has been so beautiful. I can't even tell you. If you get the chance, come here. I mean, if this is something that maybe, you know, this is a once in a lifetime thing for me, a bucket list thing. And this... I've never been so relaxed, I don't think. Um, and the people are just so nice. Billy, it's a woman. She owns it. She runs it. And, uh, yeah, call her. Okay, I'll check in later. Good morning. It's Thursday morning. And look what I get to wake up to. And listen to that. Do you hear it? Yep, that's right. It's silence. I had the best sleep last night. And so there's the pool. And uh, I'll pan over. There's the jacuzzis over there. And then that's the like bathroom and stuff. And then that's where the trailhead starts. So, I'm going to make some coffee, and it's been so nice. I haven't had Wi-Fi, and I'm almost done with the book I'm reading, and they have, I'm going to show you. Oh, oh sorry. I'm gonna... See that swing? They have those all over the property, and yesterday I sat in the swing and just read my book, and I had my clothes on. The only time I haven't had my clothes on is at the pool because that's no clothes in the pool. But, um, yeah, okay. I just wanted to show you what I'm waking up to. All right, time for coffee and see you soon. Good morning. So I, uh, when I was in Jacksonville, before I left Walmart, I bought a yoga mat because I need to start stretching. Especially, you know, my neck's been out of whack. And so yesterday I did yoga. I laid this out outside and did some yoga. And that's what I'm going to do today. And Keith and John, those are the two that I sat with last night. It was so nice. And then the stars came out. You couldn't have asked for a better. It's Nirvana Do, number two. Remember when I found that state park accidentally? And um, how beautiful that was. And this is just so peaceful. <clears throat> anyway, so I took a shower. That felt good. I hadn't taken a shower since I left Minnesota. Although I'm going to get in the pool. I didn't do anything to my hair. So that's the plan today. The plan is to just be in the moment. And it's so nice. I keep saying with no Wi-Fi to not even be tempted to go on my computer or, you know, do work or check things out uh, and just be in the moment. And that was, I was telling those guys last night, that's looking back now that I'm on the other side so far of this trip, uh, that I wish I would have taken more time just to be in the moment. Because with YouTube, I'm always thinking about like what content to get and, you know, uploading and all that kind of stuff. Um, and here it's forced me to just be. And that's what I said yesterday. I sat by that river and it's hard for us because we aren't used to 
just sitting. I mean, we can't even stand in line for anything without scrolling through our phone. It's become addicting and that's what they want it to be. And so I am going to go do some yoga and meditation on this beautiful day. Then I'm going to make some coffee and finish my book. Where is my book? I left it outside last night. So I'm almost done there. It's good. Wish you were here. I just got it at Target. And then the next book that I'm going to start, hopefully tonight. Ugh. Keep my books up here. It's like my little library. A Man Called Ove. I think that's how you say it. Uh, I heard a long time ago it was a good book. And I got it, and I never read it, and I brought it along with me. So that's the next one I'm going to start. So if you read it, let me know if it's good. Okay. Do you hear that? I can't. Silence. Something we're not used to. Okay, off to do yoga, and then make coffee, and just sit and soak this all in. Hmm. Okay. See you and in a graveyard, we came for a walk. It's so beautiful here. And I'm going to keep things back. What does that say? November 13, 1901. 1829 to 1901. I wonder why it's in a fence. What do you think? Oh, 18. <gasps> Amy Roden, born January 6, 1933, or 1833 to 1909. What does that one say? This one's at 1885 to 1919. I wonder why these are in, um, let's see, and these. John Thompson, private, what does that mean? Company, C company A5. Company A5 Regiment, right. Florida Cavalry. Confederate States Army, 1838 to 1905. Yeah. Tobias? Tobias. Tobias Thompson, Florida. Private Company A6. What does that, what does REGT mean? Regiment. Regiment. Florida Infantry. Mm -hmm. Cavalry and Infantry, Confederate States Army. Oh, sorry. Check out this name. Kansas Burnsed. 1870. That is an interesting name. Wow. Gone but not forgotten. Oh, these are the two Roden roads. Oh no, that's Roden and that's roads. 1925. Oh, another Roden. Well, yeah, no, that's the same. That's a Roden over there and the Roden here. Oh, I thought it says roads. Or is that an S or an N oh, at the I'm end? Yeah, I know. That's what I thought too. And here's just a small marker. I don't think it has anything on it. Oh yeah, it does. Something like 1898. It is so beautiful here. So we're just taking a walk. We just walked across a bridge. I'm on. <laughs> Maybe later I'll get you guys. Will you talk to me on camera later? <laughs> and be on my YouTube channel? Yeah. I told them last night. Uh, Ask people why they're at a nudist camp. Although I've really, uh, I've really integrated myself. I was laying at the pool this morning all. Uh -huh comfortable and Definitely. no pretenses oh i don't want to walk on somebody's grave look at these are these are like uh some nice look at these why why do they come up above the ground do you think um i was curious about that too and uh i think it's because there's such a shallow water table uh-huh that they cannot dig down but why would you think all of them would be like that? Oh, there's quite a few of them. It's probably cost. Yeah. Oh, true. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go check more out. So here's a bridge I can walk across. I, this doesn't scare me. <laughs> Look at how beautiful this is, what though. Is all about? Although you can see between the cracks. Yeah, that's a little sketch. Mm -hmm. But they closed the bridge. And we just went into Florida because that's Georgia, and behind us is Florida and the um, this is the, Saint Mary's. the Saint Mary's River. Yeah. Oh, look at what's that hanging off the? Oh, that's a bobber. Yeah. I thought that was something growing. <laughs> okay, what's growing on that tree?
Yeah, I said I don't know if I want to tell people about this. It's like a hidden gem. Uh, I know, it really is. But most people, because of the nature of the RV park. <laughs> yeah. And tonight, after steak and potatoes and asparagus made by Keith, we are playing Jenga before the sun goes down. And there's Lucky Charlene over there. So, good times. Who knew a nudist resort would be so welcoming? You'd be eating steak and asparagus and potatoes and drinking wine and playing Jenga. No, I yeah. forgot to put the cream in it to soften the caramel. So. Well, it still it tastes pretty darn yeah, good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So you were waiting for me no, to look three, oh, I can't. Three, that's right, go, yeah, that's yeah. right, that's right. Okay, thanks. <laughs> I'm just you know, I'm the enforcer. Thanks, dude. Chef. <laughs> there it is. Ooh, whiskey. Oh. Yeah, I talked to my daughter just now and I said, she goes, Oh, where are you? I go, Georgia. I go, I'm at a nudist camp. Mm -hmm. Didn't expect that, Mom. <laughs> she goes, How is it? I go, Fine. She goes, oh, Good for you. Did you tell her that one fell out on you? I, I couldn't believe how it did at the yeah, last. I was messing with it and stopped, and it just <laughs> fell out. Are you kidding? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. And you said it was going to knock over. Man, how'd Dang. you do that? Hey, <laughs> Good morning. Look at the beautiful sun behind me. So, uh, it was a late one last night. Well, not late. I think I was in bed by 10. But it was a long day. We went for a beautiful walk in the cemetery, as you'll see, or you saw. And, um, sorry, I'm swinging. And then we came back and um, Keith is a master chef. He wants to start his own cooking channel on the road. Um, so he made us steaks. We had asparagus and potatoes, and then we played Jenga. They, someone brought, uh, John brought like the big Jenga. So we did that and um, we have new neighbors and yeah. We just had fun listening to music. So I am staying for another two days because today is Keith's birthday. He's 56, he joined the 56 club and he's the one from Canada, he's the one that cooks. So he is cooking a fabulous meal tonight and it was too enticing. And why would I wanna leave this? I mean, it's 8.30 in the morning and it's so quiet and beautiful. That's why I said I'm afraid to tell people about it because now it'll be packed because I plan on coming back here at some point. Uh, you know, you don't have to be nude. Um, it's just it's amazing. Anyway, so we're going to go into town. Uh, I didn't plan. I got to get cash to pay Billy for two more days and get some groceries since I didn't plan on meeting new people. It's just been so fun and interacting and laughing and playing games and listening to other people's stories. Just happens to be at a nudist camp site. <laughs> so, okay, I'm gonna go, we're going in town. I don't have internet, so I don't know when this is gonna go up. Um, so, okay, well, I'll see you in the next one. To be continued for this campsite. Okay. Oh, don't forget, go up, make an adventure, no matter how big or how small. It doesn't have to be getting rid of everything, moving in a van, and go to a nudist campsite. You can start baby steps. You may end up here, like me, but you can start baby steps. Uh, call someone you love. Tell them you love them. And don't forget your magic. Okay, see you next time. Bye.